A provincial election is expected to be called in Manitoba. Premier Brian Pallister asking for a new mandate more than a year before an election was expected to be called. He has until Tuesday to visit the lieutenant governor to dissolve the legislature. In the last election, his progressive conservatives ousted the NDP from power, winning the largest majority in Manitoba in a century. Danielle Smith from Global News Radio 770 CHQR is working on this story. Going to be talking more about it on her show this morning. Good morning to you, Danielle. Good morning. Why call, why call a new election when you have such a big majority? Well, you know, it's always a risk to do that. John Cretchen successfully called early elections and managed to get away with it. But famously in Alberta, Jim Prentice tried to call an early election and did not get away with it. So you can never uh, be, you can never take voters for granted. That's why I want to do a check in with a Canadian press reporter who's been covering the legislature so that we can get a sense of what's going on there. I, I suspect that when a, when a party goes early, it's because they think that the their opposition is gaining ground. And Manitoba has been one of these uh, provinces that has switched back and forth between the progressive conservatives and the NDP. They do tend to like to stick with the government that they've got for more than one term. So that's playing in his favor. And But he's made some pretty bold moves and want to, wants to make a few more. He, he ran on cutting the PST, which he did. He ran on balancing the budget, which he's close to doing. He's reforming health care and education, which could be the areas where his opponents are going to gain some ground. But I think we should pay attention to what's happening in Manitoba, because as much as there's a, a lot of uh, glances in Ontario to see if that gives any sign of how our premier, Jason Kenney, might might be looking at policy change. I think Manitoba offers the better example, since and Saskatchewan as well, since they've uh, been more firmly with a conservative government for a longer period of time. So we're going to see if there's anything that might derail him. Early election calls are never popular. Second thing is that he caused some controversy when he first ran for election, because he's got this place down in Costa Rica. And he said, I am going to be going down six weeks out of a year, premier or not. And he has. And last year, he was he, during winter when it was they were suffering some uh, effects of the cold, he was tweeting his support for them while he was down on, on the beach. So that caused a little bit of controversy for him as well. And so we'll see whether or not that has hit him at all. It could well be. He said, this is who you're getting when you vote for me. And it could be that the uh, that Manitoba residents are fine with that. So we're going to go through all that today. Yeah, fair enough. Should be a good conversation. Thanks, Danielle. Yeah, thank you.